Twitch, my first ever Twitch broadcast, is going to be a programming one. I just happened to be looking at this old blog. It came up for some reason, like five people read this blog entry yesterday on my stats, um, asking, I guess, about how to turn RDI into a dark theme. Um, and since I have the courses on the website, and one of them is talking about RDI, I thought, why not test Twitch, record a little video, and then I can just add it as uh, one of the courses, and I can link it from this blog. So what this is talking about is changing our RDI experience. So let me launch Rational Developer. Um, I'm running IBM Rational Developer for I version 9.6, which at time of speaking is the current version. Here's RDI in all its glory. It's a very dull gray screen, right? So let me um, open up an existing bit of code. This is an RPG program that displays data queue contents. Uh, of course, this is very slow because I'm connecting to good old Pub 400, but you can't ever complain about free stuff being slow. So here's our default layout. I quite like this. I I'm, I'm not one of these people that's really into dark layouts or, or uh, light layouts. Um, I tend to like light background screens looking at emulator screens, however, that's one of the things you can't change in RDI. If I right click on the um, machine name and then go down to host connection emulator, this will show me a 5250 session that's signed on to the box itself, right? So if I sign in, here I am at the command screen. As you can see, this is dark and then I switch back into the code and it's light and it's quite jarring sometimes flicking between those layouts. So I think I'm gonna put RDI completely in black. So first of all, we have to turn RDI into the dark theme. To do that, we go to Window and Preferences. From Preferences, you've got General. And if you expand on the General tab, you have Appearance. And right in here, you have a theme that you're looking at. So we can we can switch into various different Windows XP layouts. It does this big blue border blobs, something like that. We're going to go dark. We're going dark. Click Apply. And we're dark. Wasn't that simple? It doesn't get any easier than that, right? So now, when I'm looking at code, I've got this dark background. And when I flick into my 5250 session, I'm also seeing that dark. I can, just for reference, if I wanted to keep the main theme light and just have the code dark, I can do that as well. So let me go into preferences. Let me switch my appearance back to regular. In fact, let's go to Windows XP Blue. <laughs> what does it do? Okay, so it just kind of lightens some of the tabs up and makes them blue. Ugh, I kind of don't like that, but I'll, but I'll leave it like that just for the, the sake of this. If I just want to change this code editing session dark so that it matches the sign on screen, I think that is down in LPEX Editor. If you put, look down for LPEX Editor, that's how we define this screen, right? Um, go to Appearance in here we can choose um, black there. So now my main RDI experience is running that theme. I happen to be running the Rational Develop, uh, the Windows XP one, and just my edit session is dark to match my 5250. That's it, dark themes in RDI, easy peasy. Now let's see if I can publish this to Twitch and see if it works.